Having this true curiosity on the Randy Show. I want to ask you a lot of questions related to the cyber security when you're dealing with deep fakes. Mm -hmm. um, how do you actually combat that? How do you combat yourself starring in a porno? <laughs> so, a couple of points about deep fakes, right? Uh, deep fakes will only keep getting better, which is a given, right? As text generation is becoming better, uh, picture generation is becoming better, video generation will also keep on getting better. That's just the nature of the beast. Yeah, that okay. has to happen, right? Mm. There's just no two ways about that. Forensically, are there tools to go ahead and detect certain types of things which are happening? The answer is yes, there are. But as you said, right, if your face is used in a movie which you don't like, right, what do you do about that? The unfortunate reality of that is technically there's nothing you can do. I can give you some small hacks here and there. For example, if you look at a deep fake, at half the speed, you will see a lot of frames have not been filled in with the kind of details that a normal movie that is being shot, it will flow naturally. Mm. So if you see something at half the speed or one third the speed, it will not be as densely populated. You probably won't be able to see that in the normal thing, but just slow it down. That's, that's theoretically possible, right? However, for a normal person, right, to be able to go in and just being able to see that, whether this is deep fake, not deep fake, you saw some friend of yours in a video which you like, hold on, is this true or not? It's very, very difficult. There are some websites which help you with that, but how do you know the authenticity of the website? And the worst is, when you upload a video and the website says this is a real video. And that's not because that's not because they know it's real. What they can at max know based on their algorithms, this is not a deep fake, which might not be super set, which might not be there. Maybe be other ways to generate deep fakes which they don't know about. Legally, in India, there is no law for deep fake, but there is the Indian IT Act. Where if you impersonate somebody, there's a section, the 66C and 66D, under which if somebody is impersonating you and going ahead and misusing, you know, or misrepresenting you in any shape or form, doesn't just have to be a deep fake video, you can totally be booked under that section. So that is there and you can go back to that. But, you know, we don't have like a law around deep fakes, which are, and it's not just here. It's not there in the US or anybody anywhere else, which is there. But this thing about jittery videos is probably also going to get solved. <laughs> because jittery videos basically means lesser frames per second. Yeah. Which I'm sure Absolutely. a computer will be able to do over time. 100%. So, and, and not only that, you, you shot something here and oh my God, Saket, the frame was too tight. I need to fill something in beyond that. Hmm. That's also an image generation problem. Right? It'll just take the image, it looks like a wall, it looks like a football. Okay, I think on top of it will be a ceiling. It just has the intelligence, again, limited intelligence, to be able to go ahead and create that. That's very normal. Hey, if you enjoyed this clip from the Renvi show, we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics. So explore the channel because there's something for everyone.